Hello and welcome to The Print. I have with me today Ambassador of France to India, Emmanuel Lena. Welcome to The Print, sir, and thank you for talking to us. We'll start with the recent visit of Prime Minister Modi to France. Uh, I think he was one of the first foreign leaders to congratulate uh, President Macron. How did that go? And do you think that is going to pave the way for greater partnership between both the countries? Well, actually, he was not one of the first. He was the first mm -hmm. and that's uh, i think that's a very beautiful symbol sure. it's symbol of the fact that uh, my country is opening more and more to asia every day and uh, obviously when you say asia at the core of it it's mm -hmm. india it's a testimony to the long-standing partnership based on trust between the two mm -hmm. countries and also the great personal mm -hmm chemistry between right. our two leaders mm -hmm. and uh, I was there I was attending the, the dinner things I, I can really testify mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. well that's interesting mm -hmm. so um I mean, the obvious question that comes in mind after mm. this is, uh, you know, India and France are these two strategic partners. The, the partnership is decades old. But the question now is with the changing environment geopolitically, what is the next step? How do you plan to uh, take it to the next level? Well, it's, it's even more important. I mean, the, uh, the core of it, I mean, why, why we have such partners? Because uh, we, we are very much alike. Mm -hmm. We have democracy, we, uh, we like to be highly independent, we like to make our decision by ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, and we like also to uh, uh, solve the issues through a multilateral process, through discussion, mm -hmm. rather than uh, war or, or than a sheer use of force. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, it means we have a decade-long uh, partnership, and it's even more useful these days when we, we're living in a, in a world which is more and more trouble, looking for its balance. Mm -hmm. And that's where you need your friends. You need mm -hmm. your friends to, uh, to boost your autonomy. So we, that's where we, we're working on the, uh, opening new chapter of a partnership on, uh, on digital, on AI, on cyber, on, uh, on space, on uh, all these technologies. I right. mean, we are very forceful. Mm -hmm. And also we, we are taking uh, uh, together initiatives mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to be a force of good in the mm -hmm. world. Uh, and uh, we're working together and uh, with each other right now in the Security Council, where we are right. blessed to have India until the end of the year. And as you know, mm -hmm. we would to, like to see, we'd love to see more of mm -hmm. India. We are strong supporters of your country being a permanent member of the Security Council. We think you really deserve it. And, uh, and next year, we're looking forward to the uh, presidency of the G20 mm -hmm. by India. And we actually, we have started working together to, uh, mm -hmm. to prepare for this uh, great uh, time and event mm -hmm. where we want to push more initiatives. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Ambassador, uh, when mm -hmm. we talk about mm -hmm. India-France partnership, mm -hmm. the cornerstone of, uh, stone of the relationship is the defense partnership. Uh, the deliveries of Rafale fighter jets is now almost complete. Are we now going a little bit towards co-production? Because that was what the second phase of the project was all about, right? No, sure. Uh, I mean, defense, core of it, but it doesn't... Uh, Sum up all the partnership. Right. As you know, it's Agreed. broad. We have mm -hmm. a lot of doing. We mm -hmm. do a lot of culture. We have this wonderful festival, Bonjour India. We have people to people. Mm -hmm. We have students coming from India to France. We want more and more. They are mm -hmm. very welcome. Mm -hmm. We have science. We have uh, some uh, business. We have some a lot of things. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. But uh, obviously, defense is uh, great because we uh, have a lot of trust between our two countries. And Rafal has been an outstanding program. Uh, uh, in spite of COVID, in spite of everything, mm. we delivered uh, all the planes, the 36. The, uh, actually, the last one is being uh, re-engineered because okay. it was used for, for training at the beginning, but it's on schedule, on time, and, and to serve the Indian mm. Air Force, uh, uh, the, the French industries have been working extra shift days, night, weekend mm -hmm. to cope for the, uh, the, our lockdown, the COVID, but mm -hmm. we are perfectly on time and the user, the, uh, the Indian Air Force seems to be totally satisfied. Mm -hmm. What are the next steps? I mean, for, for years, our companies mm -hmm. have been the champion of making India. Right. I mean, no other uh, country mm -hmm. has invested so much uh, in India, has taken so much offset obligation things, We're satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. Next step, is to uh, 
fit in your policy of at Marnier Barbarat and to mm. do more co-development, more technology transfer, right. which means working together on the program of the future mm -hmm. uh, for uh, aircraft engines, mm -hmm. for any any sort of system of equipment mm -hmm. so that you you can develop in India, you can produce in India for your uh, forces, but also maybe to export. And why are we the best partner to do so? Mm -hmm. Because that's uh, something we've, we've done for our country. We have the same aspiration mm -hmm. to independence. We've been doing that process, process, process right. to, to, to become independent. So we have full sympathy for that and we mm -hmm. want to be number one partner to do that. Right. And at, when mm. it comes to technology transfer, I mm. know the best example one can give is that of Scorpion submarines. Uh, it's been going on for, for two decades now and it is, it is like the, the uh, example of technology transfer. But uh, I mean, we've uh, read recent reports where the Naval Group was not allowed to submit bid for the P-75I. Any particular reason that you can throw light on that? Well, Scorpion is a good example of the work we've done together. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great program and as you've seen, the, uh, the number six mm -hmm. uh, submarine has been has been put at sea, yes. and it's uh, quite a great collaboration mm -hmm. between uh, Naval Group, as you said, mm -hmm. and uh, MDL Mazagon Dock right. Limited, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think it's quite an achievement. Mm -hmm. Then the next steps, it's uh, up to India to uh, uh, to set mm -hmm. uh, its requirement to decide what sort of submarines, the numbers it wants. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. obviously, uh, Naval Group and all all the French industries which mm -hmm. are involved in submarine program are ready and willing to mm -hmm. be uh, to be the reference partner in in the next steps. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there have been some uh, some discussions, some issues of. Uh, RFP right. for for P seventy five I. The request they, for there, been, there have been some specific things about uh, uh, limited parts in the uh, in the equipment okay. about AIP. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be too technical. Things mm -hmm. like this. Uh, it seems that certain requirements mm -hmm. are, are very complex mm -hmm. for 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 most companies. No, not only for French, but for any other companies, uh, and that there have been they, some thinking discussion. So mm -hmm. that's where we stand. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, uh, when the uh, India has made its decision on the path it wants to go, obviously Naval Group is there right. uh, and, and willing to bid mm -hmm. and uh, has invested in India and will continue to invest because they very really believe uh, that they can uh, uh, bring a lot to India. And in yeah. terms of making mm -hmm. India, but also more in terms of autonomy, in mm -hmm. terms of uh, uh, co-development. Mm -hmm. So basically, they continue to remain interested in the Indian market. Uh, more than interested, <laughs> totally committed, mm -hmm. totally. Sure. Yeah. Um, now, Ambassador, when we talk about India-France partnership, and mm. right now we see uh, India has a lot of focus going on in its foreign policy mm. as far as Indo-Pacific is concerned. Now, Indo-Pacific is also an area where France was the oldest player, right? You have real estate there. Now, uh, under the Indo-Pacific partnership, how do you think the bilateral partnership will get enhanced? Uh, I'll come to the part that, you know, has AUKUS been a little, uh, you know, factor where both would be reviewing their relationship and what about the India, France, Australia trilateral partnership that once we were talking about in 2020? Well, uh, France is the oldest uh, Indo-Pacific mm -hmm. uh, driving force with India, actually, because okay. uh, uh, our two leaders uh, made the same uh, speeches, the same uh, announcement in 2018. Right. I mean, your prime minister did at Shangri-La, mm -hmm. my president did it in Australia at Garden Island. Okay. Uh, and since then, we've been totally committed. AUKUS obviously was a major disappointment. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a breach of trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and But it is, does it change our, our commitment? Not mm -hmm. at all. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. uh, geography doesn't change. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we feel that we are a resident power of uh, in the region. I mean, we have uh, 
population, actually right. two million, but mm -hmm. compared to India's population, okay, mm -hmm. but it's quite a significant population. We have uh, economic interest. We have the second largest uh, economic uh, special zone mm -hmm. due to our territories in the region. Mm -hmm. We have troops. We have thousands of troops right. uh, in mm -hmm. the region, and we are totally committed. We, we are moving. We are moving with India, and I must say we're very proud. I mean, this week we uh, to be very pragmatic, concrete. We have uh, a reconnaissance plane, a P eight I, mm -hmm. uh, stationed at uh, our bases in La Réunion mm -hmm. and doing some joint patrolling with our forces. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move like this. Regarding Australia, to answer your question, mm -hmm. obviously now, given the level of trust, we cannot move on with the trilateral uh, mm -hmm. cooperation uh, mm -hmm. uh, we envisage, we'll see. In the mm -hmm. future, it might come back, but uh, we have plenty of partners. Uh, mm -hmm. We believe in India, we believe in France, and we'd like to join. Mm -hmm. And I know, for example, partners like the uh, uh, United Arab Emirates would be would be uh, would be uh, willing okay. to go along, and I'm sure uh, with our approach, which is very inclusive, mm -hmm. which is uh, broad, which is uh, uh, also comprehensive, mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, we're going to gather some uh, some new partners. So that trilateral partnership was mostly focused on supply chains, or there were other components also. No, you mean which which partnership? The India Australia uh, France. No, 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 no. Our approach is uh, is very large, and that's uh, something that defines really uh, the commitment yeah. to uh, the Indo-Pacific mm -hmm. for our two countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we're not focused on that on that area or on defense mm -hmm. uh, or on just on military requirement or so. we we just think that the. Um, uh, uh, the challenge that is posed by a certain country in the region mm -hmm. is manifold. Okay. Uh, and and in, or, in order to uh, to be up to uh, and, and to really to uh, to tackle the issue, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. need to be broad. Okay, that's interesting, um, Ambassador. Now, while we uh, discuss all of this, we know there's a war raging on in Ukraine. Uh, and that's probably will enter now its third month. France has been one of those countries that has not criticized or pressurized India, so to speak, compared to other European countries. Uh, we've had this B line of European ministers coming and telling India to put sanctions on Russia or call it out, uh, at least at the, at the United Nations. I, I believe that Prime Minister Modi and President Macron had a detailed conversation on that. What is it that you want India to do at this point of time uh, when we are seeing that the war is basically intensifying? Well, uh, right. I mean, uh, all countries have their national position, mm -hmm. and which are determined by their sovereign mm -hmm. interests. Mm -hmm. And that's something we respect. So we are not the, the kind of country that is going to lecture mm -hmm. uh, a close partner like India. Mm -hmm. We really respect and we, we know that the, uh, uh, the stand it takes on a, such uh, an important issue like this one. Uh, has been determined uh, through a, a process by uh, outstanding professionals and given uh, the country's uh, core interest. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one. Right now, uh, we want we want to move forward together. We want to do uh, as much as we can in a positive manner, mm -hmm. and there's a lot to do, and mm -hmm. that's what was mm -hmm. discussed in Paris. I mean, obviously, uh, the uh, number one priority. Uh, is to obtain a uh, cessation of hostilities uh, and to alleviate uh, the plight for, 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 the, for the population. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's something our two countries can really contribute. I mean, uh, Prime Minister Modi, President Macron are one of the few leaders mm -hmm. who can really talk, and we are talking, mm -hmm. both uh, to President Zelensky and President, and President Putin. Putin. Mm -hmm. So it's good that they can uh, also join forces and uh, exchange mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. uh, and compare their analysis. Mm -hmm. But all, also on political, we are countries have a specific voice. I mean, when India mm -hmm. says something on international stage, people listen to it. Right. Your country mm -hmm. has a weight, has a respect earned through history, mm -hmm. which means that it matters. So mm -hmm. number one. Number two, I mean, the, uh, the crisis has also, uh, I mean, obviously in Ukraine, but beyond, uh, provoked some major imbalances in food supply chains yes. and things mm. like this. 
there is risk of uh, malnutrition, maybe starvation in certain region. Mm -hmm. So we have to do something. Your country is one of the largest producer mm -hmm. for many goods, for, for meat to cereal to anything. And we want to join forces to work on initiatives mm -hmm. to stabilize things, to make available to, uh, to certain countries also some right. stocks and things like this. Uh, we're working on an initiative called Farm, and I think yes. we, we, have, we, have, mm -hmm. we have a lot to do on that. So you see, there's a lot to do on a, on a positive agenda. And also, uh, uh, one, one thing that we want to do among partners when you make your position, you, you, you try to, uh, to, to maneuver with your constraint and your thing. So one of the goals on the, on the middle long run is also to do whatever you can to diminish your constraint, mm -hmm. to boost your strategic autonomy. Mm -hmm. And that comes back to the, uh, to the point we, we just discussed a few minutes ago. We want to be the partner to, to, to for, for with India to mm -hmm. boost our, our strategic autonomy, to, to, to make uh, India more uh, uh, autonomous in producing uh, its uh, uh, equipment it needs for its security. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but it's a, it's a long, it's a long term right. uh, mm -hmm. endeavor, but we are totally committed to that. Mm -hmm. Ambassador, I'll come to my last question, which is the fact that France is going to be uh, the uh, European Union, it will have the presidency this semester. Would you like what we heard from European Commission President uh, Ms. von der Leyen that the priority should be now the India-EU uh, free trade agreement, which has been pending for now uh, more than 10 years. There's a lot of interest, I understand, on both sides, but um, would you be also pushing uh, to have that concluded by next year? Well, uh, my country has always been pushing mm -hmm. for uh, the EU to be more involved with India. I mean, mm -hmm. We are your best advocate, <laughs> no issue about that, right. and we, we will keep on. Mm -hmm. So this semester, as you said, it's, uh, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great occasion right. since we, we have for, for the six months the presidency of the EU, mm -hmm. and we are pushing very hard. I mean, as, you, as you've seen, we, uh, we had, for example, a, mm -hmm. uh, a big uh, ministerial meeting mm -hmm. with all the ministers of the region mm -hmm. to deal mm -hmm. with Indo-Pacific mm -hmm. issues in February, your foreign minister, Mr. J Dr. Jashanka was there, uh, and we, we're doing every, right. everything it takes. Mm -hmm. We were also the big promoter of the uh, EU uh, Indo-Pacific strategy, mm -hmm. uh, and really pushed to have a India at the core of it. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, um, the, uh, the FTA mm -hmm. is, is, would be a game changer. We are very much in favor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a momentum right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, last year in, in Porto, with your, your prime minister attend a leader summit, it was decided to relaunch the negotiations. Right. Yes. Ms. van der Leyen was there a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was decided uh, to uh, effectively start the mm -hmm. negotiation in June. Mm -hmm. And we are going to go in good faith. What we want is something ambitious, mm -hmm. something across the board, a real opening, so that our uh, uh, EU, which mm -hmm. is the largest trading partner mm -hmm. in the world and a major uh, partner for India, and India mm -hmm. can really boost their common prosperity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's complex, mm -hmm. uh, and w but we go with a high level of ambition in terms of uh, the sector that should be open, in terms also of the, uh, the progress we can commit mm -hmm. together for, for environment. Uh, but I'm confident that uh, given the, the trust that has been mm -hmm. built, we, we should be able to get some results. So are we going to see uh, cheaper French wines and cheese coming to India? I hope so. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you so much, Ambassador, for Bye. talking to the print. And you please take care. So that was Bye. Ambassador mm. of France to mm. India, Emmanuel Luna. Mm. You were watching the Prince YouTube channel. With me on camera is Pooja Kher.